Hi, welcome to Cycling Vancouver. My name is Steve, and this is our quick trip to the Sunshine Coast area of British Columbia. The Sunshine Coast is an area of Southwest BC. It is quite close to Vancouver, and though actually part of the mainland, it is only accessible by a 40 minute ferry ride from Horseshoe Bay. We caught the 9.50 a.m. boat to Langdale on Thursday, August 12th, 2021. Thankfully, I made a reservation. Otherwise, we would have been waiting for hours for a later sailing. And it was going to be a brutally hot 30 plus Celsius day, and that would have been painful. We disembarked at Langdale and then drove the Sunshine Coast Highway to the small town of Seashelt. We were too early to check in at the Driftwood Inn, so after having lunch at the Baystead Baker, we drove north to explore Sargent Bay, Secret Cove, and Half Moon Bay. Not surprisingly, it was actually hard to find Secret Cove since there were no signs for northbound traffic. The next morning, we were up and out early to catch the 1035 ferry at Earl's Cove. We stopped at the Basted Baker for coffee and grabbed an apple hand pie. It was stuffed with pureed apple and cream cheese. Very nice. We got to Earl's Cove about 40 minutes early and waited for the boat. The boat runs every couple hours, so waiting 40 minutes was fine. It was another beautiful hot sunny day and the ferry trip to Sultry Bay was spectacular. The drive from Sultry Bay to Powell River took about 30 minutes. We located our hotel, parked out back, and then went to check in. We were too early, of course. The woman at the counter recommended we try Costa del Sol across the street, and she asked if we were going to Lund and try the Blackberry Cinnamon Bun at Nancy's Bakery. We had no plans to go to Lund. We walked around the street out front and went to the Costa del Sol for lunch. It turned out to be a great choice. We shared a southern wet pork burrito and a maverick taco. The waitress said their coffee was great. She was right. She asked if we were gonna go visit Lund. Although we had not planned to, she said we had to try the blackberry cinnamon buns at Nancy's. After lunch, we walked over to the Wellington Beach to check out the beach trail. They call it a trail, but it is really an easy walking path. It was very hot out, but the trail was nicely shaded by the trees. We were surprised to find an open-aired forestry equipment museum along the trail.
we decided to cut over to another network of trails on the north side of the highway. The trails were quite nice and for a while it seemed like we were the only ones in the forest. Eventually we ended up back at Willington Beach Park and then we walked back and checked in at the hotel. When we first arrived in Powell River, Andrea looked at the front of the hotel and was quite concerned. When we opened the door and entered the room, we were more than pleased. The suite was incredible and only $250 per night. That night, we went to the Forest Bistro and Lounge for dinner. The place reminded me of a biker bar, yet they served tapas inspired from French cuisine. And they had about 40 different single malt scotches on offer. On the way back to the hotel, we stopped at the liquor store and I picked up a couple of craft beers. I figured they'd be quite nice after tomorrow's hiking on the South Coast Trail. We got up the next morning and drove to Lund for breakfast at Nancy's Bakery. Nancy's was very busy. There were no blackberry cinnamon buns available when we first got there, so I ordered a raspberry and dark chocolate cinnamon bun instead. It was great. We hung out at Nancy's long enough that a new batch of blackberry buns came out of the oven. I went in and picked up some sandwiches and a couple of blackberry cinnamon buns for our hike on the Sunshine Coast Trail. Lunch should be good. We walked around Lund and ended up at Rare Earth Potters. We purchased a couple of raku bowls and a teacup. Thank you. It took us a while, but we finally located a starting point for a section of the Sunshine Coast Trail to Scout Mountain. The SCT Trail runs about 180 kilometers from Sarah Point in Desolation Sound, south to Saltery Bay. It didn't take long before we lost the trail. The signage could use some work. We stopped on the north side of Powell Lake and had lunch. The blackberry cinnamon buns were nice, but I think the raspberry dark chocolate bun was superior. We located another stretch of the SCT on the south side of the lake and walked that for an hour or so before returning to the car and heading back to the hotel. I was really looking forward to trying those beers.
The blackberry porter was very nice. The blackberry flavor enhanced it, but did not overwhelm the porter. I really enjoyed that. I was apprehensive about getting the Driftwood Old Cellar Ale. Strong beers like that tend to be very sweet, and this one was no exception. Except it was also quite bitter, if that's possible. I unexpectedly really enjoyed it. Andrea had a small glass of the Driftwood Ale and then passed out for a bit. When she woke up, she wanted to go out and see the sunset, so we walked out back of the hotel down to the marina about a block or two away. Is it right? Do you want to pose with them? <laughs> okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. That must be new though. See, I should have bring my camera. That's the one on the bottom. Oh, this one's already broken. Yeah. The next morning, we packed up and headed for the ferry back to Earl's Cove. We planned to hike the Skookum Chuck Narrows Trail to see the tidal rapids. This trail is very popular and, other than the extension to Roland Point, it is generally a fairly easy walk. I love a hiking trail that has a bakery and good coffee along the way. That's what I call roughing it. I didn't realize it at the time, but the Narrows are part of the Seashelt Inlet and it extends south to the north side of the city of Seashelt. Thank you. 
After we completed the Skookum Chuck Narrows Trail, we drove south to Gibson's. Gibson's is famous in Canada for being the setting for a CBC television show back in the 70s. We hung out there for a couple of hours and I bought some mango white balsamic vinegar from Sunshine Coast Olive Oil Company. It's very nice. No, I mean, it's a word. You guys agree, right? I thought young kids were bad, but my God. Young kids suck. <laughs> Being unsure about the ferry waiting times, we decided to skip dinner in Gibson's and to head to Langdale early and get in line for the boat back to Horseshoe Bay. It was time to return to civilization, only 40 minutes away. <laughs> 